Hello everyone! This video, I wanted to make a newcomer cow costume from a video game from a Nickelodeon movie in which the male cows have udders because the director felt city children wouldn't distinguish them as cows otherwise. I used some leftover foam from my previous videos, air dry foam, cow blotted, black, thin black, and pink fabric, liquid plastic, a wig, heels, some paint, a sewing machine, and needles and thread. To begin, I wrapped duct tape around my legs because I thought it would help my foam adhere. It didn't work, but I needed to make the hip area larger for that lovely curved cow figure. An item I neglected to mention is National Guard's Foam Lock Spray. I love this product because it's permanent and isn't hot glue, and you'll need it to attach large sections to a bodysuit later. My suit design isn't easy to walk in, but it's necessary to create a position that makes your legs widen. For the inner body suit, I'd suggest a pattern. All of my project structure is purely pinning and draping, which I can't say saves a lot of time. I also purchased an inexpensive mannequin that fit my measurements. However, Certain areas weren't the same measurements I'd expected, so the end result was actually quite uncomfortably snug. And I probably should have draped it on myself. For the cow's head, I used the same process as my Spyro costume head. If you haven't seen it, I haven't made a lot of videos yet, so you shouldn't have to dig too far. But, all you need to do for the base is make a bucket of foam for your head, and add and take away foam for your desired shape. I sincerely hope I don't cause any headaches here. I had technical difficulties for some time because auto mode is the only way to tape on my camera that doesn't blur, and this was learned the hard way. But you know, a cow without a sense of humor is a laughing stock. I wanted to model my progress on my new mannequin, so I had to alter Bob. After draping my bodysuit and adding a zipper, it was time to add the foam. Now this step I'd say next to hand sewing takes the most time, and that's why my videos all have voiceover, because of the hours worth of time watching The Office and listening to copyrighted music. Do you want to hear why the farmer stopped telling cow jokes? Because he butchered every one. Now depending on your outer fabric, you may or may not have less work to do. Thicker fabrics hide choppy areas, while thinner fabrics will show everything you miss. For the udders, a paper bowl happened to be the perfect size and shape. Just like everything else, I simply draped this section and hand sewed it shut with a slip stitch for clean lines. Normally, I'd pin my fabric and fold it inside out to check for symmetry. In this case, I was actually only able to purchase about two and a half yards for this. So I was trying to be incredibly conservative. That was my main focus. I don't know how many of you wonderful people sew, but for those of you who do, do you find it incredibly satisfying to see a zipper done? Now for the costume head, I did use extra fabric I had laying around to lay out where I was going to put the fabric for the face. Because I was only using scraps, I needed as much fabric as I could get. 
Now this doesn't have a moving jaw, but I did want to be able to drink stuff out of a straw with it. So I used a reusable boba straw to map out an inside throat hole. I also used it for the nostrils because it just happened to be the perfect size. To keep my nostrils in place, I used National Guard's foam lock spray inside the face before hand sewing. Hey pig, uh, I think there's a dead bee in your nostril. Oh, well that's not dead. I attached the ears, but then later realized I wanted to have wire inside so that I could move them around for different expressions, and then re-sewed them back on. Now it is possible to create the whole outfit without a single ounce of hot glue, but at the time I didn't have any more of the National Guard foam lock spray, so I did end up using it as a placeholder inside of my hoof heels. Using black heels as hooves should make you indistinguishable from other cows. He's buying it. <gasps> He's buying it. Ooh, he's not buying it. All of the ligaments, like the arms and the legs, I had to pin while inside of the torso, come out of the torso, and then hand sew. When I attached the tail to the bottom, I did have to leave the tail end open to put in hair later. To adhere the wig hair to the inside of the tail, I used liquid plastic, and then hand sewed the fabric around the outside. If you look at all the cow's hands when they stand, they turn into kind of a mitt shape. It makes it a lot easier to trace out, and then you can use your sewing machine. I used an old sweater to make the inside layering and neck hole for my cow costume head. Next for the eyes, I map them out with paper and pin them in place. I do this for the teeth as well, and use the same method that I did in my spiral video, using an air dry clay, and then painting over that with liquid plastic while it's still wet so that you can hollow it out easier. Now if you make your eyes perfect, you can skip this step, but I didn't make holes, and I did have to use a Dremel to make the eyes flatter so they didn't look like giant eggs. The liquid plastic I use is very friendly, and cures within 13 minutes. It's what I use to adhere my plastic to my fabrics. Now unlike the eyes, I did allow my air dry clay to set before I painted the plastic on for the teeth. That way, it would be nice and solid when I adhered it to the inside of the mouth. I also added a cute little pink tongue. I did purchase a cheap Amazon wig to make the hair, however, because they probably didn't know I was going to be using it for a cow suit. There was a lot of short filler hairs, so I had to individually cut them out and then sew around them. To keep all the hair down nice and straight, I used the same liquid plastic as the rest of the project, and then went over it with black modeling paint. You don't necessarily need to use an airbrush for this, but I think it gives it a nice clean look. Because most, if not all, of the female newcomer cows have blue eyes, I ended up using blue paint for the irises. I then sewed a long pink strip of fabric for the bow. To give the hair a very PlayStation 2 style look, I used a black netting fabric and covered all of the hair with it. And now, to tie it off with a bow, the reveal. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you all so very much for watching. I currently can't walk without aid, but if you would like a more shenanigan style video later, let me know in the comments. I appreciate all 57 of you currently subscribed, and I hope you like this content. Thank you all so much for replicating with me. Your wonderful support has kept me going. See you soon. Ta-da!